What's up, you little stinkers? Welcome to the Local Music Talk Show. This is a show where we talk about up and coming local musicians here at our very own Rowan University. And I'm your host, Tyler Sylvia, and boy, am I ready to rock your world. <laughs> Get it, because it's a music show. Coming up, we got all kinds of great stuff. Let's start things off with an interview with the very talented lowercase people. And following the interview, we will toss to a PSA about our very own Rowan Rec Center. We're going to get you hot. We're going to get you tight. And after the PSA, we will see Liam Burke out in the field at a local concert showing us what it's like to be in a band. So without further ado, let's bring out our guests. Tommy McElvey and Noah Saunders. These guys are extremely talented and just all around pretty cool dudes. So please give a warm welcome for lowercase people. Awesome. What's going on guys? Yeah, How's it going? Here. Absolutely, happy to have you here. All right. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I like to keep it fresh and popping, right? You know, nice. Yeah, this is a music show. We're here yeah, to have sure. fun, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so, fun. Yeah, have fun oh, now. Yeah. Now is the time to do okay. it. So, um, all right, so let's get right into it, you know. Um, you guys obviously have a special connection. You're a duo, you make music together. So where did that connection start? How'd you meet? Um, well, I guess we, we've always been friends. Uh, we actually met in church when we were younger and through just, you know, not really having anything to do. We would just call each other up and hang out and then that led to, you know, playing, playing music and then okay. trying to, trying to um, create some of our own music and one thing led to another and here we are. Huh, okay. Cool. So how long have you guys been like officially performing music together? Um, I get you that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean we played our first show, well, played our first show I guess, what year was that? What was the 4th like, of July? 2014. 2014 and then like it was probably, I think once we started playing our own music and not doing covers was just over a year ago about. Okay, okay, so, so still relatively. Or, no, sorry, just over two years ago. Yeah. Okay, sorry. all right. So how many songs have you guys made since then? Well, made or released? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm, yeah, I guess, uh, tell me a little bit about the process of like making something and you don't always release it, I guess, right? Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I, I guess songs will come and go. I know we especially have ideas where I'll start something um, electronic or on a computer, on a sampler, send it to him, he'll throw a vocal on it. Um, okay. That's that's happens quite sometimes. Um, but also there's times where he'll sit down at an instrument, a piano, or a synthesizer and get down some chords and we'll get we'll get a song and that's the best it gets, you know? It, yeah. Because um, a lot of times our songs will we'll work up and then we'll uh, evolve them and then strike it down and try again and see how we can produce it and arrange it and yeah it's interesting it's, yeah it's a uh, it's pretty laborious but i mean there's also th that's the fun in it sometimes you know you get certain parts that you didn't have before and it feels good right. yeah because i mean like two years ago we had like 12 songs that we thought would be an album mm -hmm. and then decided to pretty much get rid of all of those songs <laughs> yeah. so those probably will never see the light of day yeah and um so now we have a whole another set of songs that we're working on trying to get out. Huh, interesting. Would you consider yourselves to be like perfectionists or? Uh... Um, yeah, I, 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 would I guess so. in, in, that, in that regard, yes. Yeah. I guess because we, we never want to release something that we're not crazy about and we don't love. Um, I think that's a lot of times in the scene people will release something that they're not crazy about and um, they don't like it. And I just that, that's not what we want to do. Right, right. Okay. So you guys have been a duo formerly for you know several years, but my understanding is you just brought a third person on, right? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so we played our first show, actually for Rowan uh, for the Battle of the Bands. Okay. Um, with we've played our first show with our third member uh, playing guitar because we wanted to bring you know we're very like electronically based band, but we wanted to bring more of that rock drive that you 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 can't get anywhere else except for at a rock show. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> and um. So we brought him on, and we've known him for a while. Actually, we played our first couple shows with him opening, or either us opening or him opening in his band okay. that he was in at the time, Native Riff, um, <laughs> RIP. Yeah. And, um, but, yeah, so, and now he's, he's in another project called Floor Scene that's also on the scene. Yeah, no pun intended. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so he's, he's busy with that, but he's also helping us out with live shows. So we'll see how often he's able to play with us. But for the, right. in, the, in the studio, it's mi mostly us right now. Okay, so it's still mostly you guys in the studio yeah. and whatnot. So it, what are some of the challenges that come with being primarily a duo and then bringing a third person into the mix? Has it been difficult? Um, it's, actually, it's actually been pretty easy. I mean, it's I just hard to find the kind of person that we want because we want... Somebody who like we can 
you know, make our office references to, but also right. get to what we like the direction we're going yeah. musically and like sonically. Right, absolutely. They yeah. got to really fit, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So how'd you find them? How'd you find this person? Um, well, his name's Tom, and uh, he actually we had been friends with him before. Um, we actually played one of our first shows um, with original music. We um, played with his band, uh, Native Riff, like he said, and. Um, I guess his X band for that matter. Yeah. Um, and you know, it actually took us about two years to get to this point where we're like, let's have Tom come over and just play with us and see if we, you know, he can uh, get some parts down. And yeah. It was let's cool. give Tom a shot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah was, okay. Nice. Fine. Nice. Well, know, yeah, Tom, if let you're him listening, tweak some pedals. How's it going, man? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So. What genre do you guys consider yourself to be? Because I think on your in Instagram it says like mod punk or something like that. <laughs> Does or, it really? Uh, I don't think so. I don't no. Know. Okay. Um, well, what, what would you guys consider yourselves to be? Um, what it, we've we've talked we've had a lot of conversations yeah. about that. I was like trying to understand w how we should like express it to other people. Right. Because we're not like a rock band, but we're not like electronic either. We're not like a, a pop band. Right. Okay. Um, so well, I mean. I, I can't really think of a genre, but I guess to describe it, it would be like rock. Well, I think to describe our music, it would be like a shark riding an elephant. Okay. With a machine gun. That's okay. that's how I describe it. Yeah. And then uh, you can take that uh, any way you like. Yeah. But no. Um, <laughs> uh, it's like you know definitely electronic influence. Okay. Um, really about like that at atmospheric um, synth stuff. Um, but like he said, we want to have that drive that a rock band has right. um, that you can only get from one of those uh, live instruments. Um, but you know, Absolutely. we listen to a lot, a bunch of other things too that um, that influences um, our music also. So I, I don't know. I guess yeah. I mean, one thing also that we've talked about a lot is like we <laughs> junior high, like we're we were always going to like local metal shows with my older brother. Mm. So like some of those shows were also pretty like influential for us because I feel like seeing at like a as like 12 or 13 year olds seeing like people breaking their instruments and stuff was like I kind of want to do that right. so like yeah, now, now we kind of bring that right. take okay. a keyboard that we can just break on stage right um, but we also like are really into like the 80s and 90s hip-hop stuff of like the, can't get enough of the Beastie Boys you oh know? yeah absolutely so, so Beastie I mean, Boys for life okay jump, yeah, yeah jumping yeah. around on stage interesting and, well yeah. I'm gonna ask you one more question before we wrap things Sweet. up I do want to know is this is this like your pet? Is this what you want to do for the rest of your life? Is this what you want a career doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We're pretty yeah. much all in with this. Nice. Um, so yeah, neither of us go to college, and uh, a lot of the money that we have kind of filters into funding this yeah. project. So we can hopefully, um, obviously, we'd like to get that money back in the future, but uh, and make a career out of this. So. Right. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Well. Uh, here's hoping that it all happens. For so sure, yeah, thanks. guys, check them out for sure. Uh, awesome. The uh, lowercase people are not. Oh man, I did. They right. told me not to say <laughs> the lowercase people. I said it. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> it happened. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming yeah, and sure, uh, saying a couple words with us. It was yeah. excellent. Absolutely. Yeah, enjoy. So uh, now I know what you guys are thinking. Those guys were so flip dang cool that I want to be in a band too, and I wonder what it's like being in a band. Well, guess what? We sent Liam out to get the deets on being in a band. Here it is. Nick, I'm Freddie. And I'm Jimmy. And also we have Jordan who plays bass. And we are, we are the Spins. <laughs> Radical. Yeah, was that Jake? Um, we've been together for like two and a half years now. Almost three. Three, it'll be three in August. So I've been trying to start a band since I was like probably 16. I, my dad and mom have always been involved in music and I've been looking for a drummer. So the hardest part about starting a band is finding a bassist and a drummer. I found Jimmy's, I knew him from high school and got him to start playing guitar again. He quit after a little bit and like I gave him a ukulele to inspire him and then he started playing guitar again. But after that I met Freddie at a water park at Mountain Creek and then like we were both lifeguarding. <laughs> then I heard he played drums and I was like, it's over dude. Like I've been waiting all throughout high school to start a band and then finally like I met somebody who could actually drum. So I was like, yeah. and literally the, what, the next day I told you to come over and then we had our first practice. It was yeah. so quick. So like we kind of started making our own scene because like the thing about North Jersey scenes is that like it's all metal and pop punk and stuff like that. And, you know, we're not really like in that category kind of. And like, we just started our own thing at our friend Tim's house. That's where we play. It's called the Hayloft and like in Vernon. So we just like have parties there and like just people come to see us, like our friends and shit like that. Kind of made our own scene, I would say. Well, I qualify for Don't reside in my gallia. Perception bleeds into the human view of everything. 
qualify for being me For letting all of my class say great I won't defy being something I'm not You talk to well, I'm telling you there was this place called the Soundwave. It was like a garage that our friends like our friend Brian and Sean did. And that was a pretty cool place, but that was kind of the only place for us to really play. So we've been just having like shows there and like he has a bunch of local bands come through and play there a lot, like every month or so, and like a lot of people come through and stuff and that's kinda of like started getting pretty big and a lot of people locally just come through to see shows so like whenever he has a show now. Between like first Halloween party. <laughs> yeah. It's been pretty cool honestly. Like a lot of people have started getting more into like local music around us because of it for sure. Um, we are now working on trying to get involved with bigger bands that like have an audience already because like the way we figure it, we've been talking about this like like we love playing with local bands and stuff like that but if you really want to get out there the best way to do that is to open up for a big band because then you're essentially absorbing part of their audience. You know what I'm saying? Like what we're definitely trying to do is put out like new music, like because we just put out our second EP like last month. So we're definitely trying to put out like new music as soon as possible again and keep building upon that and definitely trying to tour more. For, you know, we're like we've been working on like building a lot of people by us up in Sussex County. So we're trying to like specifically kind of play in more cities like we're trying to play in Rowan more like play more in like Philly, New York like places we haven't really played a lot so we can kind of build more of a fan base in other areas like too and branch familiar. out a little bit yeah and the number one thing that's missing in this like in this like genre is like helping each other out like one the number one thing I've noticed re like not recently it's obviously a thing but like in like hip-hop and stuff like that people tend to bring each other up but like in this genre like a lot of people tend to think mostly about themselves it's sad you know but the thing is like it's so important that we help each other out and that we bring each other up because you know like getting up getting up like those you know those those getting over those obstacles like sometimes you need a helping hand you know what I'm saying so we want to get to the point where we can bring people up. You know what I'm saying? Like we were looking for someone to help us up, to pull us up, and then after we do that, we're gonna lend that right back to the, to the scene. Taking breaks from school is essential to your overall health. And what better way to take a break than with some exercise at the Rowan Rec Center? Here at the Rec Center, located in the center of campus, students have access to a wide variety of fitness equipment. This state-of-the-art equipment includes things such as treadmills, free weights, ellipticals, and much more. So come on down to the Rowan Rec Center today, free to students and faculty with a valid Rowan ID. Well, we have a very special treat for you guys. Here to do a live set for us right now is Lowercase People. So guys, without further ado, please take it away.
Thank you. going to be it for me today guys this is Tyler Sylvia signing off